Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create your own monthly meal plan. And this will help you save time, save money, and make sure that your family is eating healthy foods. Um, before, when I didn't have a meal plan established, I would um, run to the grocery store a couple of times a week. I will sometimes have a huge question mark on what to cook that day. Very stressing, very overwhelming and a lot of food would go to waste. Um, so this monthly meal plan um, has been a great, great blessing to us and I want to share with you guys. So this meal plan, I usually keep it on my refrigerator and my kids love seeing what's for dinner, what's for lunch, what's for breakfast every day. They love seeing the little images. I created this on my computer and I always keep it there so that they can see what we are having to eat that day. They love it. Okay, so before I start sharing with you the meal plan, I want to state that I am vegetarian and my husband eats chicken and turkey mainly. And so you want to see different meals conforming to the different needs. My children are given a choice. They can choose to eat vegetarian or they can choose to eat meat. My oldest child um, is vegetarian. Okay, so let's start with breakfast. So for breakfast, I never give the kids cold cereal. That is probably the easy route for a lot of people. Just get those cornflakes out, get those Lucky Charms out. But cold cereal is highly processed and has a lot of sugar, so it's not good for the kids. Um, so I never resort to cold cereal. Um, I love making pancakes for the kids. So three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I make homemade pancakes, and they're really healthy and organic and high protein. And I will be sharing that recipe with you soon. Um, and along with the pancakes, they eat fruit. And for breakfast, I always drink a smoothie. So sometimes I'll have a little bit of my smoothie as well. On Tuesdays um, and Sundays, as you can see here, we have oatmeal. So the kids, I make oatmeal for the kids um, with some fruit. Then on uh, Thursday and Saturday, we have something called farina. And I brought it out because some of you guys might not know what it is. It's cream of wheat um, and it's done in like two and a half minutes. And I love making this for the kids with some fruit on top, either blueberries, strawberries. And so that is the breakfast, mainly three different types of breakfast. Um, pancakes, oatmeal, and farina. And I always serve it with fruit. I always serve breakfast with fruit. And the farina, I make sure that I make it with milk so that it's high protein and high calories for the morning for the kids. So let's move on to lunch now. So for lunch, for Monday, we have potatoes, eggs, carrots, and veggies. Um, mainly carrots, the kids love carrots. And we have potatoes three times a week. Um, potatoes are inexpensive, they're healthy, and there's so many ways you can make them. You can make baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, garlic potatoes, so many different ways, potato pancakes, Parmesan potatoes. Um, so on Mondays, on Fridays and Sundays, we have potatoes and eggs uh, with carrots uh, mainly or other veggies. Um, the eggs, I can make them scrambled, I can make them boiled, they usually like them boiled. Okay, then for Tuesday, Tuesday is a big cooking day for me. I make a huge soup that lasts for Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, the soup is a huge vegetable soup. The kids love it. I will share it in another video with you guys. I add a lot of veggies. I kind of disguise the veggies in there. And I add grains like barley. And um, I usually bake our own bread that lasts for three days, for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So for Tuesday and Wednesday, we have soup and bread. Um, for Thursday, we have from that same bread, we will have um, the bread with almond butter, with fruit spread and with yogurt. Um, then on Friday we'll have potatoes and eggs and carrots again. And there's different ways of making the potatoes and eggs again, um, but my kids love it. Then for Saturday and Sunday, as you can see here, Saturday and Sunday we have something really quick and easy, which is avocado egg wraps with fruit. They love it. I get the wraps in ShopRite and um, they are low carb, they're whole wheat wraps. Um, and then for lunch, uh, my husband, I make his lunches, I meal prep his lunches on Sundays. And so all he needs to do is take them to work. Um, and I have made a video on how I meal prep for my husband's lunches and how that has saved us tons of money. Um, and I'll post that shortly. Okay, so for dinner. 
So for dinner, I don't cook every day because I do meal prepping. Um, for Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, um, what I do is I make those meals on Sunday night and then I put them in my refrigerator. They're ready to go for those days. And we usually have fish, we usually have fish, let me point to it so you can see. We usually have fish, rice, beans, lentils, one of those, um, veggies. And since my husband is eats meat, we I usually alternate between chicken and turkey for him on those days. Um, for fish, we usually have wild caught salmon or wild caught cod. We'll have maybe sometimes tilapia, but we love salmon, so we, we stick to those mainly. Rice. We have rice three times a week, and there's so many different ways you can make rice. You can make curry rice, Mediterranean rice, vegetable rice, herbed rice. So you can make moro, what we call it from where I'm from, which is rice mixed with beans. So many different ways on how to make rice. Um, so those three days, I don't cook because it is already made for me. I do it all on Sunday. Tuesdays, Taco Tuesday is an easy day for me. Um, Easy, easy day. So I can have quesadillas for the kids. I can have lentil tacos. I can have different types of tacos for them that they love. Thursday is pasta day. And there's so many different ways you can make pasta. You can make zucchini pasta, vegetable pasta, lasagna, mac and cheese, different pastas that we can make here. And that's also an easy day for us because pasta is very easy to make. Then Friday, another easy day, which is pizza. Pizza Friday, the kids love it. I get these organic pizzas at BJ's and I just stick them in the oven on that day. But I am experimenting on how to make my own pizza. Sorry, you hear the baby in the background. I can make my own pizza because I already make my own bread and I want to see how I can make that dough for the pizza as well. Um, so I'm experimenting it. And if I do develop a way or learn a way, I will share it with you guys. And then on, on Saturday, I, I mentioned that we eat the fish, the rice, and the lentils. Okay, and then for Sunday, we make potatoes, eggs, carrots, and veggies again. I like keeping it simple that day because that's the day that I do the meal prepping. I do a lot of cooking that day. And so I like keeping it simple so that I have time to do the other things that I have to do. So here you have it. Here's our meal plan. I hope you have some good ideas here. If you're looking to create a monthly meal plan and you want to keep it simple, you want to save money, what I can recommend is to stick to things that a lot of people love to eat and that you can create a lot of variety with, such as potatoes, such as rice and pasta. Those three items, you can do so much with them and they're inexpensive and you can make them healthy for your family. I hope I have provided some tips here. Um, for more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.